Looking back on early leaks about iOS 17, a report by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman spurred speculations that update on iOS 17 will be very limited. That's not true. That can't be true. However, a recent follow-up by Gurman hints that some nice-to-have features are in the pipeline, and iOS 17 is shaping up to be very different from what we anticipated. So let's dissect it today to see what changes are in store. Supported devices. Being the slightly older models, the iPhone 7 and 6 sadly got cut off from last year's iOS 16 update. With the latest iOS 17 preview just around the corner, many of us are now wondering which iPhone models will support the upcoming update. It's common for Apple to be vague about which iPhone models will receive software updates, so we can only speculate. But for starters, it's pretty obvious the forthcoming iPhone 15 models will get support iPhones released in the last five years will likely support iOS 17. That would put the 2017 models at risk of being dropped from iOS 17. That said, a counter rumor has suggested that iOS 17 will be compatible with all devices running iOS 16. I for one really hope that's true. Apple Music Overhaul Unlike the previous iOS generations, the iOS 16 improved Apple's music app bringing changes to how it displayed on the lock screen. From a miniature music icon to a full-screen music player with a bigger album art, it was well-received by Apple users. In light of the positive feedback, Apple now plans. According to a recent leak on the Chinese social network Weibo, an even more significant update is coming to Apple Music. This time around, though, a greater emphasis will be placed on visual appeal, adding more imagery while reducing the text in the interface. What's more, you'll be able to see lyrics right on your lock screen. It's no surprise, given that general updates to the lock screen are expected. We'll go into detail on that very soon. But before that, let's talk about iOS 17's new health app and what's changing this year. New health app, iPad feature. Apple's health app has been around for a while, but until now, it has only been available to iPhone users. As one of the most useful computing devices, the lack of a health app on Apple's iPads has always been one big space to fill. However, that could all change this year. According to Mark Gurman, this year's OS updates are slated to include the health app in Apple tablets. This means patients and doctors would benefit from the iPad's larger display while examining health data, ECGs, medications, lab results, and more. In addition, Apple is working on a new wellness journaling software codenamed Jurassic. Oh, not, not this. No, no. Oh, sorry, uh, carry on. Also, Apple plans to introduce a new emotion tracker that will allow users to record their feelings, reflect on their day, and see how their emotions have changed over time. We're not sure how that will play out. Hopefully, we'll find out more at WWDC 2023. So subscribe to our channel and keep up with any future updates. Lock Screen Upgrades The lock screen in the previous year's version of iOS received several updates, including the ability to add widgets, shortcuts to frequently used apps, and even a new clock style. In general, it was a considerable improvement compared to the previous iteration. However, the only downside was the lack of space to fit all these features. As a result, Apple is again engaging to improve user experience. What exactly does this mean? iOS 17 is slated to enhance the lock screen customization. According to the Weibo leaker, users can access new fonts, emojis, wallpapers, and other functions. It is expected that this would also feature the option to share personalized lock screen layouts much like the sharing of individualized Apple Watch faces. App Library Upgrade – Better Flashlight Control Introduced in iOS 14, Apple's App Library is an excellent concept that eliminates the need to manually delete apps from your iPhone to free up space on your home screens. However, it's a bit of a confusing jumble. It sorts programs into rigidly regulated folders based on their category and doesn't always place programs where you'd expect them to go. As a result, many people expected Apple to revamp the operating system with iOS 16, but the company did not make any significant changes. With iOS 17, new custom categories and other organization features are expected to come for the app library. 
Also, a new stepless adjustment for the torch is rumored to be coming with iOS 17. This means that you'll be able to adjust the brightness of your torch more precisely rather than being limited to one of three preset levels. I have been waiting for that. Third-party apps exclusive to Europe. Installing software from sources other than Apple's App Store has been high on customers' wish lists for iOS for some time now. This year, rumors about a possible run of third-party app stores on iOS 17 have been widely speculated. While this is fantastic news for Apple fans, there's always something to spoil the fun. Oh. Oh. According to Mark Gurman, this feature might only make its way to European users. Sideloading is a feature Apple would rather not have, but the EU may now force its hand. However, this also means the feature may be exclusive to the EU. As German says in a McCruber's podcast, Apple is not going to expand it globally if they don't have to. While it will suck, the Apple App Store might be the only option for everyone in the US and beyond. Comment below and let us know your thoughts on this new development. From the possible expansion of supported devices to the rumored Apple Music overhaul, lock screen upgrades, and new health app, there's much to look forward to. But as always, we'll have to wait for the official announcement from Apple at the upcoming WWDC event to confirm these rumors. Still, iOS 17 is shaping up to be a major update, and we're excited about it. Like iOS 17, Apple's 15-inch MacBook Air is a new popular edition expected to debut at the WWDC event. In our next video, we'll discuss what it's capable of, so make sure you watch that too.